backbiting. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Qala, atadruna mal ghiba? He said, what is the ghiba? The companion, they said to Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahu wa rasoolu a'lam. That Allah and his Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knows the best. Thereupon the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, backbiting is talking about your brother in a manner that he will dislike. In a manner that he will not like if he's there. This is backbiting. So the companion said, Ya Rasulullah, what if this brother as I say, and he is like that. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, if the brother is as you say, then it is a backbiting. If he is not what you are saying towards your brother, then this is buhtan, slandering, even worse than backbiting. So how many times we sit and start backbiting about people? There are many reasons why people backbite. I mean to degrade someone, upgrade yourself in front of other people. But one of the main reasons that people will backbite is because of the corruption in their heart. They're not clear in their heart towards other people. This is the main problem. You know, Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, have mercy on people and the one in the heaven will have mercy on you. If you are backbiting means you're not having mercy on those people. You're not having any mercy towards those people. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, he who is not thankful to others will not be thankful to Allah. If you're not thankful to other people, you're not thankful to Allah. If you are backbiting, talking bad about people, it means clearly you're not thankful to those people. It means clearly you're not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can we help our heart? One way, one of the strongest way that you can help your heart by helping others, by helping people. This will soften your heart. You can bring light inside your heart by helping other human beings. And if you really, really want your heart to connect with Allah, you will have to connect your heart with the people. This will help you to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Qayyim rahimullah, he said, there is nothing more beneficial to the heart than wanting good for people and treating them well. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir fal yakul khayra awli yasmu tukma kala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that if you believe in Allah and the day of judgment, you either say something nice or stay quiet. If you are about to utter any word from your mouth, dig deep and choose the best words towards others. If you can't do that, your best possible option to stay quiet. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this hadith narrated by an Abi Musa radiallahu anhu, he said, Ya Rasulullah, ayyul Islam afdal. The who is the most excellent among the Muslim. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he replied, he said, man salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi. Okuma kala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another hadith, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, If you can guarantee me what is between your two jaws and what is between your two legs, your sexual organs, he said, Adman lahul jannah. I guarantee him a jannah. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa akin wa sallam.